Right, I'm here with Jen Davis, who's the head of the costume department here at Wimbledon Studios, called Wear Wimbledon. Thank you very much for joining us, Jen. Hello. Okay, hi. Um, now, it's a huge costume department. How many pieces do you have here? Um, we've got about 50,000 pieces now, different pieces, all kind of different categories, all sorts of different costumes. On an average day, we kind of prepare different outfits to go out for different um, productions, both based on and off-site. Um, we also have designers who come in and out of the department and um, pull costumes and make up rails themselves. The biggest difficulties is when people kind of um, call up and need costumes instantly to go out really quickly, and mm. we're kind of running around trying to get police epaulets together and things <laughs> like that, and riot uniforms all together. Um, apart from that, there's probably not many difficulties. Well, you mentioned police. Obviously, um, you've got, is it... 200 police uniforms here? Yeah, we could dress over 200 police and um, about 200 riot police as well at one time, which is quite exciting. So You could start your own revolution, really, I couldn't know, you? I know, it would yeah. be quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have sort of a favourite costume or, or type of costume here? Um, recently, we've actually taken on a load of the uh, BBC costume stock, uh, the comedy costumes that were moved out of TVC, mm. um, and we've got a load of mascots from them, so they'd probably be my favourites just because they're really fun, a load of animals and things. Right, well, I think you're now going to show us around the costumes. We can yes. have a have a little look through. Yes. Prison outfits, and then down this end we've got kind of all of our service wear. Um, so that's where the waiters and lives things. It. Yes, okay. exactly. Um, we've got bus drivers, um, Royal Mail, all of that stuff. So okay. it's quite exciting. And you guys have got a hospital set here as well, haven't we you? At the do. Studios? Yes, we do. We've got two hospital sets here mm -hmm. um, at an A and E as well. Um, we've also got Police Station, which is quite well backed up by the different costumes that we've got in the store. Okay. We've got tunics, um, jumpers, overcoats, high vis, everything. We've got all the utility belts is and this batons. The, the, what's in a utility belt? In the utility belt, you get um, the baton and the baton um, holder. Mm -hmm. You get the handcuffs, handcuff holder, the CS spray and the CS spray Are holder. Are they all fully functional? Presumably not the spray. No, unfortunately <laughs> they're not. We do actually work closely with the Met Police Film Unit, who mm. kind of ensure that everything we have is safe to okay. be used um, in film production. And you've got the riot police gear down here, do you? We do, that's just in the Round next here. One. Let's go. It's quite snug. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that, eh? <laughs> Bit of the touch of the Darth Vader's, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> We've got loads of hats, mm -hmm. everything to kind of suit any size and um, all the helmets. We can do Metropolitan Police and Generic Police as well. This feels like the retro section here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, lots of knitwear. Um, nice Christmas jumpers. Yeah, lovely Christmas. Uh, we're doing a lot of shows recently that have a lot of flashbacks to the 90s, so it's been quite good for so us. Lots of shell really suits and for things. It. Yeah, mm. exactly. <laughs> Um, come through. Let's go. All our ladies' wear is kept upstairs. Um, I think we've got a load of wedding dresses here um, and all the wedding accessories to go with it as well. A uh, load of fur coats, if that's what takes you fancy. And these are real <laughs> animals, are they? We've got both real and um, fake, but these are kind of real. There are some with more heads on than others, things like that. Blimey, okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> heads and paws and things, um, but they're quite good for the period shows as well. Well, at least he's a movie star now. I know, okay? I yeah, mean, he's He famous. may be a coat. <laughs> <laughs> this piece as well. The bust <laughs> size is quite um, large. What's that for sort of Queen Bodicea, that kind of thing? <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. It was used in a BBC sketch show. So these are your favourite ones, are they? These are some of my favourites just because they're so much fun. Um, we've got Bunny Rabbit, we've got some Puffins, a Teddy Bear, Bumblebees, <laughs> a Pirate, and and some showgirls and glitzy bits You always need showgirls, don't exactly, you? Exactly, yeah. yeah. We've got maternity wear and we've also got a lot of padding. Is that baby bumps? It is, yeah. We've got um, pregnancy bumps. This is a real um, silicone one so that you can use it on camera. Oh, OK. And show the skin on camera, which is quite good. Um, we've also got padding and fat suits as well, <laughs> which are always quite fun to fit on people. <laughs> Everything a working wardrobe needs, really. Yeah. Uh, school wear. Okay. Both period and present, so lots of different bits and pieces. Uh, we've got a bit of military. If you want to stick your head oh, down there. Oh, here we go. Have a look down there. And this is sort of period military stuff as well. We've got some, yes, World War II and then some present. The RAF pilot, I think. I mean, that's what I've always been gearing towards. 
Okay. So uh, if you ever need to dress as a tramp, we've got things that are kind mm. of pre-broken down. I'll bite um, my tongue, yeah. <laughs> mm. If I need to, I'm sure I can achieve that look on my own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some quite good broken down suits. And uh, we've got lady tramps as well, um, which are always quite popular because it saves time for designers to kind of break things down themselves. They can start with a base like this okay. and then um, build upon it. Because I always assumed you would just get someone in a suit and just make it dirty. You can do that, um, <laughs> but it is quite time consuming. Mm. Um, if there's different specifications, we can do that here as well. We've got all the kind of breaking down um, utensils. So, yeah. well, What is a breaking down utensil? Um, there's a lot of different paints used um, and dusts that are specifically for breaking down. Also a lot of um, sandpaper. Is that something you would handle yourself then? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. So we do all of that here. We've got a huge stock of doubles so we can make one really dirty or make it look like they've been run over or shot or something oh and then wow one that's just kind of the plain before. so how do you go about making if, if someone was shot how do you get that look um it would probably be a hole and then lots of blood around it and it depends how they've been shot and what the circumstances mm. were but it can be quite fun to do oh wow because I'm thinking of that bit in The Godfather where Sonny gets shot and he's sort of all <laughs> frayed everywhere. And I often you thought, need a lot. <laughs> yeah, but how do they do that? <laughs> Special sports, um, roller skates. Oh, my word. Which you can try on if you want. Go everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, I've had bad experiences on roller skates in my time. <laughs> that was the hippie section. Yes, hippie and new age pieces. Um, we dressed about 20 hippies for um, a show quite recently mm. and they were all in a sketch there, so that was quite good fun. Um, we've got so if, World if, Ethnic. If they're shooting, you sort of, you'll, you'll go down to the set and you'll sort of have a chat with them and with all your costumes and go, does this work? Is that, is that how it goes? It's normally um, before the shoot. Mm. They'll either come in here and build outfits themselves or they'll kind of send over their specifications and we'll put outfits together for them already for shoot day. Okay. Uh, Jen, thank you so much for showing us around, doing such a wonderful job at Wear Wimbledon. Thank you. Thank you.